Hey everyone, what's up? What's happening? We are back in Valheim. Episode 11. Um, so where we last left off, we just got the bridge completed over here on my left, and also the whole, the pig farm um, that we're going to be developing today. Um, there have been a couple of changes too since um, you last saw. So I added a roof onto the uh, forge area. I just was kind of look at getting tired of looking at the uh, dull brown that would come from weathering. And when I was putting this roof in, I actually, I actually think it looks pretty nice. I put a couple inverted uh, roof pieces here, which I never thought about doing, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty into uh, that, and I all of a sudden just had an idea. I'm just going to test it out right now. So if we do that, and like another inverted, something like that. Then the stairs have covering. I don't know. That's maybe a bit overkill, but um. Anyway, so yeah, I built the roof here. Um, the stairs are already... It just got done raining. Is why I'm soaking wet. Um, I used the elder power just barely and just made a whole bunch of stacks of wood. We also have a full stack in inventory and half. Uh, so we got that going for us, which is nice. And then we run over here to the bridge. So what I ended up doing with the bridge was I cut out all the beams. Well, I put log pieces in. So that's the uh, core wood, the log poles. So I used the core wood um, and then just kind of destroyed the beams around it. And I think, like, it's really hard to tell because everything's still super red. But, you know, I put the roof back up and the beams back up and it, they seem to be staying. So, maybe? You know? I don't know. Fix those stairs, but yeah, now the bridge is looking nice. I'm thinking we should probably add some like lights in here maybe. Maybe we could add like beam running down the middle. I don't know. Anyway, we got that done. So next up we need to make a little observatory station for the pig farm. We also have to get rid of this guy. I'm gonna let him get a hit on me to think he's winning. Take care of him. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we come over here, right? I haven't like super plotted this out. There's a workbench over here, right? This wood. This wood. Uh, let's make a workbench over here. I love how I just have all these random outdoor wood benches or crafting benches. So, yeah. Anyway, we're we're coming down this way, and we can step up the ladder around this rock. I kind of want it to go. Yeah, let's go here. We'll do a little double. I don't think that might be way too much wood. And then we'll spin it. Maybe. And then I'm also going to add some uh, supports. Also, another really nice thing is the log poles come in four meters. I did not know that. And it only takes two core wood to make oh, a four meter log pole. Um, which is efficient, but obviously you're not getting as much core wood because you've got to go to the Black Forest to get it. Um, but I thought that was really neat. I did, I've never really experimented with core wood before. Or uh, log beams. Something like that, right? And then... These are going to have to be doubles. This one... I don't think I can get away with making this a single. Do that. Now everything's green. And we can kind of just turn it and... Go in. Let's see. So something like this. And I know this is pretty high. So you need to be like out of their sight. Let's go one more up. And then kind of just make like, oops. Just kind of make like a little lookout station here. Like 
reach it. That might break. Yep. Ooh, that's a long fall. I didn't think about that. Okay, let's add some supports here. Ooh. Oh. Sad. I'm not going to be able to get... There. Oh, made it? Ah, I broke the fence. Um... Yeah. Everything else is looking good, so that should stay now. You can add another support to make it look a little bit more even. Okay. So now when we look at it, it should be green, but it's instead orange, because I don't understand the rules of stability, I guess. That's very strange to me. I... I you know, I guess I haven't figured it out yet. I never really looked it up, so of course I haven't. Get some wood walls to make it kind of nice. I also would like to make, like, maybe inverted. Something like that. Um, so they have inverted, like, a higher up, like this one. Yeah. That way it kind of looks like it's walled off. A handrail. I guess I could like. Can you fit something there? Maybe a, a half one. I mean, it doesn't look awesome. It would stop me from falling off if I, you know, was dumb. I don't know. I don't super like the look of it. But anyway, we've got this now. Let's uh, kind of build out a floor. If we can. I got all that wood over there. Hopefully we don't need a ton of it. It's not Minecraft, you know? Maybe I can just hop down and do it from the floor. That might be like significantly easier. Yeah. Is that gonna fall? That's the important one. I maybe should make those log poles if they're not supporting it well enough. That's all we really need, is that right there. Um, I think what I'll do... We'll come out here. I'll make some supports there, too. Mostly just for looks, but also it hopefully helps. It doesn't seem like it is. I mean, it's... Maybe a little bit. It did, it did definitely help. Those were all red before. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see. So, we're going to come up here. Let's make some more walls to kind of just close this area off a little bit. So, again, the goal is they don't see you, but you're within range because they don't tame unless you're within a certain amount of, you know, distance away from them, like the grid requirement okay we're out of wood officially but i think that's like more or less finished so we just come here and drop it in uh when by drop i mean like food i've got food here ready to be dropped um so that throws out all of them i don't think we want to be th throwing all of them we have to do just like one at a time i don't know Oh, I dropped it, so I gotta manually pick it up. Also, oh, we uh, we are almost dead. I did, <laughs> did not realize how close to death we were. <laughs> that would have been hilarious to die on that one. Um, I'm just gonna grab some comfort real quick while we sit here and think about this. So, next up, I'm gonna go look for a hog. Um, Hopefully, 
a group. And then, let's see. Yeah, we'll just lead them back into there. And we'll trap them. Alright, there's the comfort bonus. Um, nice another run skill. I was going to look at my skills. So if you come here to the tab menu, you got some options. It's pretty cool. So obviously we're the best at running because that's all we do. Um, surprisingly, you know, I guess I haven't used any swords yet. We need to do more blocking. I don't super know. I wish it would tell you why or what it does, like what the buff is. Like if I'm level 41 run, what does that mean? Oh, shoot. Did you break one? No. Too much fly back. Okay. So, we're going to run down and we're going to go look for some boars. Actually, this might be a bad time because now it's, now it's dark. Let's get up on this hill. We are going to need necktails too for that dish we were looking at. Woohoo, right over your head, dude. Dang it. Super missed. Um, it's getting dark. Let's actually just sleep away this night. So that we can see a little better. We don't get chased by graylings every two seconds. Yeah, I like the uh, look of the forge a little bit better. Also, it's not a forge. It's like a, like a work area. Tool shop? Tool shed. Tool shed. What's that? Would probably work, right? Um, yeah, I really like the look of the tool shed. Um, and I've been thinking about smelting and making a underground forge area. And I think that's going to be a good idea. Probably just like directly where they are, just start going down. Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't really planned it out. I'm thinking a little bit in Minecraft terms, which might not be appropriate for Valheim. I know people do make underground areas. But they're usually like big squares. They're not like dig under the ground um, and then like leave some of the ground on the top. So I don't think that'll actually work. We might have to like build out a whole new area for that. What's up, man? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That's some ragdoll physics. Okay, so. Let's find ourselves a boar. Look at that. Look at that. Right away. Okay, so now he's mad. He's chasing us. I'm kind of looking to see if he's got, like, a partner anywhere. Doesn't seem like it. I'm going to have him chase us back this way. This might not work. Is the river too... No, he should pull across this, right? Yeah, he looking at me so mad. Oops. This one. Come on in here, dude. Now let's make sure we got the pole fence out. Hey! I'm over here. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on, big guy. Hey, look at that first boar. Okay, so now we want to put this back. Ha 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 ha! Don't you think you can leave, dude? Yeah, there you go. Actually, I did that wrong, so I'm going to just redo it. Okay, now he's stuck. So we have to feed him, um, and they won't eat anything while they're frightened. They also won't eat anything if there's like fire nearby. They don't like fire either. Let's um, let's grab one of these raspberries. Up now, see if he takes the bait. He's mad. 
Yeah, he's still frightened. It just... Yeah. Okay, well. Wait it out just for a second here. This observatory station is not the greatest because of that, like, blind area right there. I might actually just move back one slot. That's a good idea to me, though. Oh, don't fall. Hey, bud. Um, can you chill? How much damage? He's not doing any damage to these fences, so... Not too worried about him breaking out. Oh, it's fine, dude. I'm gonna go find you a wife. You be stoked. So leave that one? Maybe? No. Should have broken it before I went down there. Okay, so now I do want to build up a little bit of wall. It's just a little bit extra, but this just like prevents me from being stupid. In fact, I could probably build one there too. Uh, it's fine. All right, so now we have a little bit clear view. What's going on? He's still upset. Maybe I'll just leave him alone for a little while. I'll go find another one. Or maybe I'm not like the correct distance away. Let's see. I think we need to leave. So let's bounce. Go back and try to find another boy. We're going to go this way, though. Because then I won't have to cross a river. Some wood. Got some mushrooms over there. Good job. There's one already. Oh, that's a deer. Through the trees. Okay. So then what? Looking for piggy. Some more berries. Another deer. Seems to be a lot of like singular animals out today. You know, I feel like I usually see them in like. Roots. We've seen only one boar, one deer, and one deer. Let's see. There's one. Hey, man. Um... You want to be friends? What? Oh, he's mad. All right, we're just gonna walk him back. Get a little thing out there. Where is he? Come on, dude. If they miss you, they kind of like circle around. I don't want him to like attack me. I want him to stay close. Circle, make sure he comes back. Keep running. We just kind of like through this clearing here, right? Or is it this way? Yeah, that's way. Come on, man. Oh, sorry, this is a girl pig. Oh, I'm sorry. They're androgynous pigs until you put them in a cell together. 
see. Cut you, Miss Picky. Let's go. So that other boy's chilled out now. Just want to get rid of this. I don't have to deal with it. I'm gonna pull open the wood pole real quick. And let's bring him on in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can attack me, you're fine. I don't mind. Get stuck on that. That looks terrible. Might come back and like fix it. Let's see if I can like... I don't know how I even did that. But yeah, that one boar had uh, chilled out. After we left. So, that's probably the key. Stay in there, big guy. That looks fine. That looks fine. I'm stressing too much. Alright, I'm just gonna leave again. Make him just straight up forget about me. Probably go. Let's go a good distance away here. Grab some honey. Unless we have. We don't have a. We're about to have a full stack, so. I'll chill on. Chill out on that. Okay. Well, we got some stuff to drop off anyway, so let's just do that. Hmm. Sorry, just thinking. Um. Go in here. These feathers. You should have. This neck tail too. Let's go put that in the cooking chest. Got other things in there too. Stuff looks good. I'm gonna split this stack. Okay. Um. Those. Those. That. And then keep everything else. Be fine. Fine. Also today I would really uh, so once we get this kind of boar situation sorted out, I'll leave that deer alone. So hopefully I can kind of sneak along the side. This path should give me adequate clearance. I want to test it in like real time. They are as close as possible right now. They can't hear me, but they don't see me. So they're not getting frightened. Or at least that one. That one's fine too. So let's um drop a couple berries in there. Maybe a mushroom? Just for variety. Just wanna see if they eat it. Not really taking the bait. Yeah, I just want to know if it works even like one time. Okay, this guy's no longer mad, <coughs> or at least suspicious. So, he's walking to it? Yeah! We get some hearts! Okay, cool, so that's what we are looking for. Um, now, unfortunately, after this, it just kind of takes time. So, because of that, I think I'm just going to time skip this next part. also need that board over there to... Oh, look! There's hearts over there, too. Oh, they're... Okay, so this is just working over time. I thought they had to eat every single time. Huh.
he's suspicious, but like he can hear something, but he's still getting the hearts. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to just time skip this part and I'll just stay right here until they're tamed. But yeah, so I'll see you in a second. Well, there we go. Or has been tamed. Now, unfortunately, that is only the first one. The second one's being a little, a little prickly. Um, I think he's still 10% away. So what I've been doing is I've actually been kind of sneaking over to him. The problem is he's alerted. Theoretically. Like I said, what I've been doing is I've been just kind of sneaking over to him and checking on them. So that one over there, we can see his green bar now. Best friends. This one, we get close enough, 83%. So we are going to be just awaiting a little bit more for him. And it has been, it's been a while. Um, we are, I think for him, it took like 30 minutes. So, 30 split into, you know, whoa, I just had a massive brain fart, 100%, 30 minutes, it's like 33% every 10 minutes, so that means if he's 15% away, by that 33 and a half, so he's about 5 minutes away or so. Yeah, I believe this one is the first one I got. If I kind of tracked them right, which I might not have. Probably, probably didn't. But either way, just being real prickly about acclimatizing. And now he's hungry, which means that bar stopped. I thought I put in a ton of food. There is food over there. He's just not going to eat it. Um, so let's drop another like, two raspberries in there. Eat that. Eat it, man. You're hungry. There we go. Maybe that's why it, it's taking a little bit longer. Is Maybe he just didn't know where the food was. But either way, um, I'd rather get this done. So I will see you guys in five minutes. Just let me uh, cut it again. eat all right that's awesome middle of the night and we're best friends now we can pet him or loves me i love you too big guy i'm gonna leave the raspberries in here i don't know if they need to eat them sweet a little still not a little purr gotta love it all right so we need to name these guys um miss piggy or i guess it's mrs now Uh, be better than that. Mrs. Piggy? Don't feel right. You guys any have any uh, name suggestions? Let me know in the comments. For now, I'm going to do Piggy. That's the girl. And... Um... Or... Ramir. Or Ramir. For the boy. Don't die. Hey, listen to me. Don't you die. You can do it as many... Oh my gosh. They just keep purring. I love it. That's so good. Okay, so, now, eventually, um, as long as they're, like, happy, then they should, uh, just make babies randomly I think but anyway that's about all we're gonna do over there for now that was a good long wait um, this hour this episodes already an hour long even though you guys aren't gonna see that it's probably only like 25 minutes to you guys right now maybe even less or yeah maybe less let's go ahead and take a quick sleep
Okay. So, next on the list was something important I wanted to do. We need to go check out the uh, um, the garden over here, because those seeds have definitely grown by now. Grab our cultivator. And I, uh, so they give you three seeds per one carrot. So yes, we can't use that carrot to cook if we plant it. So we just need to make sure we keep two carrots and plant one carrot for every, um, harvest we get. Why am I, why am I doing this? Oop, 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 oop. Yeah, because if we if we did a two to one ratio every single time, we would just we would be full up on carrots. No big deal. That's what I want. I would I just don't want to worry about carrots. I don't want to have too many carrots. Because that is definitely an issue you can have. How many more carrots seeds? We have six. Cool. All right, that's it. Hopefully all those are looking fine. Seems like it. Got this tree done. The other two trees died. Um, I also want to build the bridge here. We've got plenty of wood to do that. I could do that. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do. Oh yeah, let's get the fermenter. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, so ferment wise, we need bronze we need five bronze we don't have any bronze but we have plenty of we have actually just enough copper so this is going to be like the only thing we can build before we have to go mining again kind of stinks <clears throat> let's go ahead and make that okay um so as far as fermentation goes, in the crafting, right? Yes. We got the bronze. We need fine wood and resin. Um, resin we can pull out of here. <clears throat> Was that enough? I didn't even look. Yeah. And then fine wood, we need 30. So the fermenter, if I'm not mistaken, needs to be, yeah, roofed. Um, Sheltered? <laughs> I don't know. Needs to be uh, in a house. We can do that. What I can do here is we could make like a little table. I know we have that table there, but that's our eating table. Six fine wood for this. Did we have six more? Oh, I just, whoops. I didn't mean to grab all eight. That's fine. Um, so yeah, let's make a little table right here. On that table, we'll just put... Oh, but the forge has to be nearby. Shoot. What does the forge take to build? Maybe I can just make, like, one real quick. Six copper, four coal, four stone. Yeah, I can do that. Six copper, four coal, four stone. I don't want to, I mean, I could just break that one I have and move it. But it's fine, we can do it like this. Just got five, doesn't matter. Um, six copper. Oh, <laughs> but we're out of copper. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to have to break that one. Fine. come back and rebuild it or do you need the forge to even use it i guess we'll find out it's fine right Should be fine um 
drop a bunch of this wood just for now. Pick up this copper. Carrying too much anyway. I need at least 10 wood. What happened to the fine wood I was carrying? Wait. Wait, I had 38 fine wood. Oh, but I built the table. Okay. Okay. Um... We're carrying bronze. Let's just... Let's see if we can make it. How far can we go? It's probably going to take more time than just dropping. Yeah, it's going to take more time. Let's just drop this. Oh, that didn't do it. Okay. There we go. We'll come back for it. So we'll just put the forge like right here. Just for a second. And then... Build the fermenter up on this table. So now we just need to check if this we can still use this even. Okay, cool. We do, we can use this. So for that, we just need bases. Let's go put the forge back just real fast and make sure it connects to all the. All the things. I don't want to look down the line. Right there. Yep. Okay, cool. It did connect to everything, so it's still level three. Um, I'll have the two fine wood. Let's put that away, because I don't think I'll be using that for anything. Got a full stack of wood. Let's um, put it out here. It's not a good spot for all the wood, but, you know. Buying my time before I need all of it. Probably could start just cooking coal. Might be actually very necessary. Okay. Um, so, the first one I want to do is a tasty mead base. Um, just to check it out, just to try it. So, we've got all the necessary ingredients except for blueberries. Let's just go grab some blueberries real quick. sworn they were in here. I'm gonna grab the thistle and just put it in the other uh in the cooking box. What? What what what? Hmm. Did I eat all the blueberries? I could have sworn I'd like I've been bringing them back and storing them. Those in there and the thistle. Put all these raspberries in here. We are gonna need like ten or whatever, but Okay, here's some. I could have sworn I had more though, but just need to make sure that when I go back that I'm not eating blueberries. Let's make the mead base. And I would also like to make this poison resistance. So let's come back for that. Because the first thing we have to do is put this into the fermenter. Big splash. Okay, so now it's fermenting. I don't know how long that takes, but it does take a while. And I believe you kind of have to, like, stay in the area. I'm not sure about that, though. Getting real tired of fixing all this. But I hate the look of it, so I'm going to keep doing it. That stuff's fine. Okay. Um, so as far as the poison resistance goes, that's 10 honey, 5 thistle, 1 necktail, 10 coal. So I think, ultimately, like, we are going to need a lot of these. They do pop out with a lot, though. So let's just make two for now. Okay, so two, and then... We would need a, another neck tail. We've got the thistle for it. So we can make one right now. We don't have any more honey. Do I have honey stored somewhere else, too? Uh, fine, we'll just take all this. Oh, I'm in it. Oops. Let's see. So, we just need one more necktail, right? Yeah, one more necktail. Imagine needing to actually hunt necks. Terrible. All right. There he is. 
The claw has chosen you. Hustle back. Make just one more. Um, put the thistle away. We're gonna need that for other stuff as well. I'm gonna put the raspberries in here as well. Because we don't have enough for like Queen's Jam, right? Eight and six. Oh, we do. Let's make some Queen's Jam real quick. So I, that got four, which is nice. Came out with four, four jams. So the other thing is we can't um, add more to this. It only ferments one thing at a time. Even if you had like two of the same things, like I have two potion poison resistances, you can only do one at a time. So it's actually pretty useful to have multiples of these. Um, might be something we could do. We set up like a little fermentation room. Ugh, you know, I, <laughs> I want to do so much, and I'm suddenly feeling, like, very cramped. What we could do is just expand out this way a lot. That might be what we do, because... Yeah, as much as I like this tree, and I, you know, had some plans, um, I think I'm just going to start building the base out that way. What am I doing? <laughs> feathers. I got feathers. Okay. All right. I'm losing my marbles over here. Let's put the resin in here as well. Um, should be it. Let's kind of just sort these things out. Got a bunch of meat pops. Put those somewhere. Can't put them here. Just build another chest. Another meat ch socket. Running out of jerky. Which, like, truthfully, I should be just carrying around, like, these. What am I doing here? Okay. So, Queen's Jam, I think I'm not going to use, like, right now. I want to keep all of this meat, though. So, I'm going to put it in this chest over here. Let's see. 40 stamina, 14 health. For 20 minutes versus 15 minutes yeah like the um as far as the cost goes honey is probably just more efficient right now um because of how many berries you need for that and how many berries like i have like if i went to the black forest right now and just started plucking berries i'm very positive that you know we'd have a ton we could go make a bunch of queen's jam and we could make that like a regular source of like nutrition and it'd probably be really good um, so I'll start looking into that. The Sorn. Whatever. Um, got a perfect stack from that. That was just very convenient. But yeah, I think ultimately I would just like this to finish up. Start up the poison resistance. And maybe we start kind of planning... Our swamp trip. A foul smell comes. Oh no. The swamp is attacking. Oh this is bad. This is really really bad. I am not prepared for this. Where are they? Okay skeletons are easy. Skeletons are no big deal. The big deal are those. We have not met them yet, but that, uh, they can, uh, they can easily overwhelm me right now. Luckily, we just ate. Should be fine on the, oh, here he comes. The Draugr. There's one on my left. Oh. He surprised me. They're flanking. 
They, um... Yeah, they, they hit hard. And they just bust right through my shield. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, so let's get up there and let's just try to shoot them. I can't take this fight. This is not um, a very good uh, little perch that I've made. Need to uh, reconsider this one. Took out all my bees. Those need to be protected better. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm... This is bad. Not gonna be the end, though. Okay. Yeah, once you... Oh, jeez. I broke through the house myself. Can I just rebuild that real quick? That's another dragger. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm dead. He's cutting me off. Okay, we got stuff. We got the dragger trophy and entrails. Entrails, you're not going to believe it, are coming from the Draugr. Isn't that just so nice and fun? So hard to hit when they're directly below you like this. The smell's gone, thank goodness. Because we couldn't handle more of that. Sheesh. Okay, I think I can take these guys. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Overall, that's fine. I mean, my stuff's right there. But it does lower the skills a little bit. It's fine. I shouldn't have taken them, though. They were just... They were beating down the house, and... I didn't see myself getting... A clean shot on them. We need to reformat this like perch area. And they just run away too. Sad. Oh, except for him. Hey, buddy. He looks sad. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes that fun fight. Um,. Got to make all those beehives again. Which, let's just move them. Like, I mean, they've been destroyed, so it's time to just... Let's give up on them. Put them somewhere else. Crafting, beehive. Just put, like, kind of lace them up through here. It's like a lot of distance. But as long as they're happy, that's all I really want my bees to be happy. Are they still here? I can hear someone fighting. Yeah, they're still just running around. Oh, that was not good. That kind of makes me feel like I need to expedite um, my trip to the swamp because we got to get prepared for this. That was a bad, bad fight. It was terrible. Terrible. Okay. Okay. Um. Sheesh. Oh, is the crafting station dead out here? Hmm. I don't think we really need one out here. We can't put it up here, though. Just, like, give us some more distance. Just fix this stuff up. Okay, well that's that's gonna be like a new a new little list for me to kinda handle. Let's go check that fermenter. I know I'm kinda just giving up on that. It's still going. See, it just takes forever. I think I could sleep though. Should go faster through the night. Hmm.
Draugr trophy. And entrails too. So we didn't get any like new recipes from that, but um Let's make this another trophy area because we're running out of space with this one. But that will be uh that will be used. The entrails. Um we are gonna be eating them at some point. Oh wait. Deer stew. I think we did look at this. But that's probably something I should make. Blueberries. Mmm. Delicious. Carrot soup and deer stew. And, uh, so carrot soup would be for stamina. Deer stew for health. And I'd like, you know, kind of like a mid-ground as well. What was that? Your boar jerky? Probably boar jerky. That'll probably be like our main meal. At least what I'm thinking right now. What's it doing? Raspberries? Raspberries. Just kind of sort this out. Wish I kind of wish there was like an or an auto sort button. I know that I like to kind of keep my pack my own. And an order sort, an auto sort function would kind of not be good for that. Entrails. We need to put the entrails in that box. This box is already full. Let's put the Queen's Jam up. Here? Ish? Hmm. This sorting is going terribly right now. Let's see. Oh. Try to fix this. <laughs> this is hold on hold on you can do this right five yeah oh no right there right I mean it works this is just the most awkward roof that I've ever made. Can we invert it? What is that gonna look like? Ooh, maybe. This is this is dumb. This is going dumb right now. But I'm learning about roofs. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. All right. Let's um. Let's come back to this. Guess what we? Hold on. I'm so sorry. We could do just. Yeah, we could. Couldn't we? Let's come back to this. He says as he continues working on it. I really feel like this should work. It just kind of shows at the bottom, but we're gonna come. We're gonna come back to it. I'm sure. Hmm. 
Okay. Looking like an absolute just architectural masterpiece. So this is gonna have to be fixed. How? I'm not sure. Gotta be able to like look down and shoot things. Cause like yeah sure I mean like theoretically we just get better before the next one pops up. Like they don't they don't happen very often. We could just get better gear before the next one comes up, but then we get to the next uh we then we defeat the swamp boss and we get to the next one and then we have to deal with that raid and it's just good to be prepared. Hmm. I actually think I might destroy this. Make it into just a room, an area. And then, like, circling off the side, we could put, like, stairs. Just dancing along the side of it. Um, and just shoot from the stairs. That might be slightly easier. But that's probably going to be something for a different day. We have... Um, Pretty much finished everything I want to do in this episode. I think that we're going to, uh, yeah, just come back to it. Because as of right now, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. Let's go check if these carrots are done. They're not. Okay, cool. I think it'd be nice to like set up like little flowers here. I think you can plant flowers. I'm not sure. I guess I haven't actually ever looked before. But yeah, we are going to call it there. Thanks, guys. Sorry, I, I kind of keep trailing off there. But this is the end of the episode for sure, for sure. We got a lot done today. Um, I am super duper proud of the my first ever attempt at taming boars. Successful. We also kind of fixed up this bridge. Looking awesome. That's... That's not right though. Okay. okay. Um. But yeah, this this whole situation is super cool. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you? Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> okay um so we're gonna have to wall off that area and do it again <laughs> are you serious miss piggy oh they gave me a trophy they left behind her head oh oh that's so sad i'm actually i'm actually we're gonna we're gonna put this trophy here in a crate so that I don't lose it because I don't really know the rules for how that works. And we are going to make a like a commemoration to Miss Piggy. <sighs> Boromir. Rough. Well, we're going to end on the saddest note that I've ever... That I ever thought could possibly happen. You know, I thought the worst thing that could ever happen was me dying. And then just being like, okay, we need to end the episode there because it's going too long thought about that a bunch i did not think that my boars would be taken out of their heart cage and just killed i think they were hit from the inside they were probably trying to attack them on the edge they couldn't get to it because of the feds they should have just ran they should have just ran away into the middle okay see you guys i'm gonna go cry a bunch see ya